Alright, Pearlberg Woods. Let's have a look see. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appears even once in a battle is rewarded with XP points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it in the top of the team list. As soon as a battle starts, switch it out and it'll earn XP. Hey, good to know. Uh, ooh, ooh, there's a Pokemon. What are you? It's a... Pumpkaboo? I think that's... I think it's called a Pumpkaboo. It's a... Pumpkaboo! I remember you, because you've got a fun name. Uh, I think it's a pure grass type, so... I think with a fine with I think it's like grass ghost. Definitely a ghost type. Look at that cute little face on top. And you hurt yourself, Dr. Ivan. Okay. Let's try again. Hit it with a fine whip. Don't hurt yourself, please. Yeah, there we go. You're, you're okay. That was a crit as well. Alright. Trick or treat. That's got to be a unique move to him. Ghost type was added to Dr. Ivan. Oh, that's cool. So it can make Pokemon into ghost types. I wonder if it removes the secondary typing. Um, let's have a look at you. No, it, it doesn't update that, but I'm guessing now it's a grass ghost rather than grass poison. Either way, you're going to get uh, Pokeballs thrown at you. Pumpkaboo, that's, it's such a cool Pokemon. Gen 6 had a... oh god. Gen 6 had a few good Pokemon. <gasps> oh, okay. Ghost is super effective on Ghost. That's right. Uh, ghost moves can't hurt normal types. I realised that it could just turn Bitderm into a Ghost type. <sighs> but Astonish shouldn't harm him. Come on. You know you want to be my Pokemon. Hell yeah. Pumpkaboo was caught. Such a cool Pokemon. Doesn't it grow into like a spooky scary tree? But I like it. Look how cute it is! Look at it! Look how cute that little guy is! Oh, The tiny little pumpkin body. Look at the little face. That's the Pokemon. The Pokemon is the black thing on top. Like, the pumpkin is, you know... I mean, I guess it's not actually a pumpkin, is it? It looks like it's its body, but... I'd have to see it walk if it moves, like, the, the quote-unquote legs. No, it floats, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that the, the Pokemon is the black thing. The pumpkin body on the bottom is just... You know, fake. Like it's possessed a pumpkin. Because it doesn't look like an actual pumpkin, does it? So maybe not. Anyway. You want to give a nickname? Yes, I do. You're going to be nicknames. Um. I'm trying to find a name here. Pixie Puff. Okay, Pixie Puff. We have uh, two X's apparently. That's a bit. Alright. Pixie Puff. Again, this is just random names from people that follow me on Twitter. I'm not, I'm like, they're all in a random order. There's some that I'm choosing to avoid, but, you know, that's just because they're called, like, you know, horse cock and shit like that. <laughs> uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, Dr. Ivan. I want to even put one horse cock, you know. All right, so Bonnet, you're coming up first. Oh, hello. Some days there are things on the ground, even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm walking. Hmm, I wonder if you could be talking about this patch of grass. 
Um, oh, yeah, there we go. I was, about, I was about to be like, oh, well, I made a fool of myself making fun of this kid. Uh, you know what, let's get the second Pokemon. Leave it to chance, and it's a... <gasps> God, bonnet, please don't kill it. <gasps> oh, I've never wanted to catch a Pokemon more than I want to catch this thing right now. I love Pikachu. Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And you might be like, oh, that's, you know, that's generic. That's, you know, Pikachu is such a you know, basic Pokemon to have. I love Pikachu. Pikachu is the cutest, best Pokemon ever. Ever. I have I had so many Pikachu plushies when I was a kid. Even now, I still have P Pikachu plushies. I'm looking at my bed. There is one. There are two Pikachu plushies, a Mimikyu plushie, and a little McDonald's Pikachu thing I got once. And one of the Pikachu plushies is Pikachu dressed up as a Team Skull member, or dressed up as Guzma. I love Pikachu. I've got a drawer full of old plushies of Pikachu. <gasps> I'm so happy! Look at you, little Pichu! Oh, he's so cute! And so angry. When Pichu plays with others, it may short out electricity with other Pichu, creating a shower of sparks. In that event, this P Pokemon will begin crying, stalled by the flashes of the sparks. I don't even have to look at the name, I know what I am naming you. This was my nickname back when I, well, not exactly this, but this is an edit for my name. I was, this is what I was called when I was little because I loved Pikachu so much. So P Pichu is going to become Mikichu. Oh my god. Wait, hang on a second. Why does Pichu show up on it but not Pumpkaboo? That's weird. Maybe there's some decks that have exclusive Pokemon. You're no better than a thief. You try and steal another Pokemon. Another, another Pokemon. Oh, someone else's Pokemon. God, I cannot talk today. You should only throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon you encounter. Well, that's not going to stop me. Look at that! I just found someone's Pokemon. The Pokeball is lying on the floor. That looks like it's a Shuppet. Shadow. I know it won't be a Shuppet, but what are you? It's a... See, that should be a Cherim, right? That sounds like a Cherim. Oh god, what the hell? A Spirit Z? What the hell is this? Oh, a Spirit Z. Well, Poison Sting it. It looks like a fairy because it's pink, so... Hit it with poison. Okay, I don't know what Wish does. That could be scary. Okay, it just heals them. Good. I thought it would be like, um... Oh, what's that move? Perish Song? Yeah, Perish Song where it just kills Pokemon instantly. I thought it'd be like that. Where like somewhere between one and five turns it would just kill my Pokemon instantly. That'd be an awful way to lose a Pokemon. God, that it looks so creepy, doesn't it? Doesn't look right. It's dead now, but it looks super creepy. Alright, you know what? We are going to Change up the team before we go through Powerbook Forest. We're gonna we're gonna pick the Pokemon that I think that I think will will be good against the gym. We may end up swapping them out, but we'll see. So we've got a Surskit, a Sawaddle, Venipede, Pumpkaboo, and a Pichu. Pichu's not gonna be any good. 
unfortunately, because it's a rock or a ground type, I think it's a rock. Lightning Rod draws in all electric type attack moves to boost. That's really good. That might be good against the fourth gym. I think the fourth gym is the electric gym. Um, when we look at our team here, I think that. I think swapping out Puccienna, say for Pumpkaboo, and I think that. I think taking out Mankey for you know let's let's get Venipede on the team, right? I think I mean it will. I don't think it'll learn any grass moves, but it still might be good. Pumpkaboo will learn grass moves hopefully. We got so we got at least two Pokemon to learn grass moves. Venipede might be able to learn some really powerful bug moves. I mean, because it's a bug type Pokemon, I think it evolves really early, so it should get really strong. Nidoran might be good. I don't think Torchic's going to be good for the first gym, but we're going to keep Torchic around to help us level. We may end up swapping out as we go. So, let's see, we got. We'll put. Goo out first, I think. Nope. I wanna... I think there might be something wrong with my controller. It's very, um... It feels like, um... Drift on a Joy-Con. Which I started to experience. My left Joy-Con, I've got the neon... Blue and red... Joy-Cons. And... The left one, the blue one, I started drifting upwards and downwards. And I'm so upset because it lasted for like two years and then started to drift. <sighs> but uh, I, I was waiting for Animal Crossing to come out to buy a Pro Controller because I want Animal Crossing Pro Controller. But that doesn't come out until, you know, what, March? March 20th, I think it is? That's a long time to wait to get a controller that works and doesn't drift. Uh, okay, that's a bug trainer. Yeah, we'll just keep Goo out. Why not? Hey, kids. I got a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon team. So yeah, I'm, I'm stuck with a drifting controller. And it's really annoying to play like... Yeah, you know, I've been avoiding using my Switch because it drifts. It does, it's like, I can play stuff like... Mario Maker 2, fine, but... A lot of other games I can't really use. Also, Rollout locks me into being here for like five turns, doesn't it? Not if you disable my Rollouts. Alright, never mind. Oh wait, so I'm now stuck. I Okay, never mind. I, okay, cool. Um, Poison Sting isn't going to do much, I know. But... It doesn't seem like Vernet has that many moves. So we might be safe to leave Goo out, at least until Rollout becomes undisabled. I I think they might become undisabled. I'm not sure if it does or not. We know it's got Leech Life, Foresight, um, Disable, and now Confuse Ray. So I could theoretically just whittle it down. Hey, there we go, roll out. Okay, so we're safe to roll out. When you use roll out, you're stuck using roll out for like four, five turns. You can't, you can't back out basically. And I think each roll out does more damage. It's why, it's why Whitney's milk tank in generation two was so, oh, come on, don't disable it again. All right, good. This is why Whitney's Milk Tank in Generation 2 was so powerful, because it would just roll out and roll out and roll out and roll out and roll out, and it would get stronger and stronger. It, once you once it killed a Pokemon of yours, by the time you sent out another one, it was like three rollouts in. So it was super powerful. Come on, Goo. Finish it off. 
Come on, Goo. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, Goo. You know what? Poison stink. Oh, of course, it's disabled. Never mind, go ahead and risk, you know, locking yourself into a rollout. Oh no. Oh no, Goo! <gasps> oh no, Goo could die here! If Goo hurts itself in confusion, Goo's gonna die. Oh, never mind, I can... <gasps> oh my god, that was really, really close. I guess because Rollout didn't hit, it didn't get locked into using Rollout. That's the only thing I can imagine is what happens. If it got locked into a Rollout, it would it would have died. Because he would have sent out the second Pokemon, the Rollout would have hit, not killed it. And then Goo would have just died in like a tackle. You know? That was um... Or even hurting itself in confusion. And now it's not confused, sorry. But yeah, that's you can't you can't take risks. I'm stupid for just even trying to do that. Wait, why are you confused again? I thought you just snapped out of confusion. Oh goo. You know what? Let's take goo out. Goo, you fought hard and everything, but You know, you Oh my god. I just realized he could use Le Leech Life on Punkaboo here. Yep. That's a bug type move. But it's not super effective. Oh no, oh no, Leech Life's a grass type move? Yeah, I think it's a grass type move. I think I'm wrong. Alright, well, good job, Punkaboo. Oh, Pixie Puff. And good job, Goo, for almost killing it. Sawaddle. Uh. Pixie Puff can stay in. Oh no! Oh my god! See, this is... I'm stupid because now it's a, it's a bug type. It's going to have bug moves. And it's going to... It's probably going to kill Pumpkaboo. So we have to switch him out regardless. It would just take one bug move and it could wipe out Pixie Puff instantly. Like, watch, there's going to be bug right here. Ready? Yep, there we go. Pixie Puff would have died. Ooh, instead... All right, but um, you're you know we're just gonna get Recky. Recky can just finish it off. No, no playing around. Just end it. Ember, one hit it. Come on. Like I said, this is why we're keeping Torchic on the team for now. It's gonna just be a backup for all the Pokemon on the team. You know, because there's so many grass and bug type Pokemon here. Just, you know, oh, we're in a pinch. Send out Reki. Reki can just ember everything to death. Oh, he's got three Pokemon. Okay. You know what? Reki, you just stay out. He's got his own Venipede. I thought he only had two Pokemon. Which is why I was like, oh, just in that wrecking, we'll just end the fight, but apparently not. I really have to I really have to pay more attention. I keep making mistakes and you can't you can't make mistakes in the Nuzlocke run. I think Ooh, what are you? Hello? Let's have a look at what you are. Oh, it's a slack off. Okay, I don't really care about getting a slack off. Uh, I think I think what happened earlier when we got Venipede or when we got Goo was the the little Dex Nav. It was Cherim or it was um, what's that Pokemon called? Spr Spritzy, Spritzel, the 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 flamingo one that we killed. I think it was that. I just think that on the grass, right before it, we just encountered a wild Pokemon. Because you can still encounter wild Pokemon while sneaking. It doesn't disable that. So I think we just got the Venipede from a from a, just a normal grass spot. 
and we didn't get the Dex Nav Pokemon. I'll I'll have to check when I edit this, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened because the the shadow definitely didn't look like a Venipede. Hey Pico. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll keep Goo out in front. Goo should be fine. We just we just have to pay attention. We can't. We can't just send out Pokemon to. Oh wait, what are you? I'm gonna make no progress because I keep getting distracted. Oh, it's a Pumpkaboo. All right, well, we know we've got one already. <gasps> oh my God, a Pansia! That's not good. That's got Fire type moves. We're a Bug type Pokemon. Run. Oh, thank God. That was, that was even risky just trying to run. I should have switched out a Pokemon then ran. Okay. So this is the... <sighs> Crap. Um... I don't know what the, the Grunt is going to have. We can keep... We can keep Goo out in front. And if it's something scary, you can switch out to Reki or Ivan. But this could end up... We could end up losing a Pokemon here. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? No, but I found everything but Shroomish. I found a Pumpkaboo, I found a Pichu, I found a Pansia. There's a fire to Pokemon roaming around in this forest. Can you believe that? It's probably like the king of the jungle. Anyway, I really love that Pokemon. Yep, there's the Team Aqua Grunt. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Peckleburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I. You're that Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. What do you think you're doing? You're going to protect him? No one crosses Team Aqua and gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Nice uh, posture. Purloin, okay. Oh no! Oh! Generation 6 ruined Purloin. Look at it, ready? No, not not you, Venipede. Can we look at Purloin, please? Come on. Come on, camera. I know it looks weird as fuck. There it is. Look at it. It's a cat that stands on two legs. That's not right. Look, oh, it's so weird looking. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. Generation 5, it was on all fours. It looked fine. Generation 6 onwards, they decided it has to stand up. Look at it. It's like... Oh, it's like furry bait, I think. You know, from the, from the side, it's... um. Its profile, like the head, looked like the uh, the the fox thing from what was it? Star Fox? Crystal? Yeah, like sort of the head shape is kind of like Crystal from Star Fox, but it it looks so wrong, and it's pretty goddamn tough actually. Um, just hit it with a razor leaf. Oh no. Aqua Jet. Whew. That's good. Okay, so of course Team Aqua, they've got water type Pokemon on them, haven't they? Of course. That could have been bad. God, if I was playing um, what's it, this is Sinking Sapphire. I think the other one's Rising Ruby. The uh, the Omega Ruby version of the hack. If I was against, you know, okay, he's got a cover on her. You know what? Ivan, you stay out. Just finish it off. Yeah, I would have, I would have been screwed because they would have just had fire type moves. I don't know, I've just got grass type Pokemon on me all the time. Mm 
One hit. <gasps> oh, good job, Ivan. One hit. And you leveled up. You're crazy strong. Why would he hand over money if he's a bad guy? Good, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle with me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm all out of Pokemon. Hey, we of Team Aqua also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Woo, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, they didn't run me these important papers. I know, I'll give you this. And there's the game breaking item. The XP show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Oh, here we go. Unless you want to train a weak Pokemon, don't use it. Oh, okay, so he, he actually edited the text and I was just skipping through it. Whoops. I love to, I have to look back in the. Uh, when I edit this. But, I mean, he's clearly saying don't use it unless you want a weak Pokemon. I'm not sure what Drayano means by that. Uh, unless he maybe, maybe he means because you don't get the EVs by using the XP share. That's the only thing I can imagine he means. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak, you can just stay out the tall grass, okay. If you take book Pokemon to school, you'll get instantly popular. Ah, somehow I doubt that. Sorry, uh, bug catcher James, but... I don't think girls are going to be all over you if you go, Here, look at my creepy bug with dead eyes. Mind you, I'm using a bug-type Pokemon too, so I can't talk. Um, I don't want to risk with rollouts. Okay, maybe I have to use rollouts. Okay, Leech Life did nothing. If he keeps using Leech Life, that's fine. The problem is using rollout is that I'm locked into it for, you know, however, okay, you avoided, there's another leech life. The fact that I don't know his other three moves, he could have tackle, and it could do, you know, eight damage. So, you know, a few of those and I'd be dead. But if he keeps using leech life, that's fine, because it does so little damage. But if I get locked into using rollout, and he hits me with a move that takes away a third of my health in one hit. Then I'm in trouble. Like mud slap here. Okay, that did nothing. Good. Other than lower my accuracy. So I'll probably miss now, right? Nope. Alright, you gotta can you hit one more? In fact, your accuracy's been lowered twice. Come on, Goo. You got this. Oh, good job, Goo. Oh no, the XP share's on! Alright, I've got to disable that after this fight. And you want to- okay, um... Trick. The user catches the target off guard and swaps its held item with their own. Okay, yeah, I'll get rid of that. That might be useful if I knew what, you know, trainers had good items on them, but... I know nothing of this, so... Bit dumb, you come in. But yeah, I've got to disable the XP share. Again, all I can imagine is that Drayano is saying if you use the XP share, the Pokemon won't get the IVs. Not the IVs, sorry, the EVs from battling, so they won't, you know, be powerful. I should have read the text. I skipped through it because I was like, alright, well, whatever. I don't care about the XP share. I know how it works. But he actually edited it and gave useful advice. So, more fool me. Other that, let's heal it a bit to him so he doesn't die. Endeavor. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Alright. Bonnet, you come out. Another endeavor, and ah! Oh, please stop using endeavor. It's very powerful. 
If he uses Endeavor again, I'm just gonna have to send out like Rick. Yep, okay. I'm just gonna have to send out Recky. I can't I can't risk it. Endeavor just I don't even know what Endeavor does if it lowers the health to the same as Cricketot. Yeah, it looks like it. Um So I think that let's check Recky's speed. Speed 19, it doesn't look like it's fast. Look, uh, I'm gonna use one more potion. The problem is, is that if I'm slower, see, there's another endeavor. Uh, the problem is, is if if I if I'm slower, if I hit it with an ember and I don't kill it, and it uses endeavor, Reki's health is gonna go to even lower. And then Reki will be killed by just a regular leech life or a tackle. Okay, I am faster. Good. Okay. Just because I'm four levels higher doesn't mean anything, especially with both Pokemon. Bonnet learned. Ooh, Bonnet wants to learn Poison Fang. Hell yeah, dude! Bonnet's becoming like really, really good. Surskit, okay, you know what? I think Pixie Puff should be okay. The problem is we're getting really cool Pokemon like Pixie Puff here. I don't want them to die because it's such a cool Pokemon. I mean, look at it. It's got some really like unique moves. Like I can make another Pokemon a ghost type. You know? But we live... I mean, the first gym will probably end up killing a lot of my Pokémon. I'm very, very worried for the first gym. Do you want to learn Pursuit? Um, we can get rid of Screech. We just, we need to give you more moves, really. Just having Poison Sting and Roll Out isn't good. You know, I've got one move that does no damage, and one move that's forces me to be there for like four turns. It's not not ideal. Um, let's put Bit Derm in front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that item, and then we can come back. I'm gonna grab the item. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal. And then I exit the forest. I don't know if there's a train. What is that thing? Oh, it's Punkaboo's evolution. A fan phantom F phantom. It's a phantom. Okay, so it's not Punkaboo's evolution, but I knew it was a phantom. Oh, it's so sad. Look at it. Oh. I feel bad for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna kill you. You can live. I know you're probably like really sad living off on your own in the forest as a haunted bit of wood. So I'm not gonna kill you and put you out of your suffering. I'm gonna leave you there forever. I think the problem with a lot of ghost type Pokemon is their lore is always super sad. You know? Like, I can't, I can't think of any off the top of my head, I think... I think Shuppet was like a kid's doll? No. Maybe it was a kid's doll? Or maybe that's Bannet. Uh, most, most ghost type Pokemon are basically just spirits inhabiting things. Like Phantom there is probably just a lost, like, child spirit. You know, like, oh, um... What, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, Drifflim? I think it's Drifflim. Is like the the spirit of like dead children. 
and it and it appears and it lures children away because it looks like a balloon and then children go missing it's super weird like there's so much weird stuff with pokemon a lot of it comes from ghost type pokemon like phantoms like lore is probably like you know a child went into the woods and got lost and dies and then its spirit inhabited a tree or something i'm not even going to check out what that pokemon was I, I bet it's going to be that. I'm going to go check on Bulbapedia. And I know it's going to be something like Dead Child inhabiting a bit of wood. Uh, I'm just checking my Pokemon because I think there might be... There might, might, might be a trainer battle. Or not, rival battle here. No, it's a cutscene. This is the Pelberg Recon team checking in. I'm afraid that, that I have to... I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Will do. I'll continue investigating the energy we detected. Phew. But that kid sure has some promise as a trainer, I'd say. 